Welcome to another great Waltz Tribe lesson for you. How are you doing? Did you practice the last lessons? I hope so, because it's really going to help you. Today we're going to do Waltz lesson number four, step patterns that are basic and foundational to waltzing. If you can get this, you are getting the heart and soul of waltzing. We're going to go nice and slow today. Uh, and I'm going to do the lead roll, so it's starting with my left foot on count one. Are dancers' brains wired differently? Dance Magazine says yes. Dancers' brains appear to be programmed differently from non-dancers' brains. Some dancers are innately wired like this. Others have the propensity to develop the abilities over time. That was from 2017. And you, today, are going to learn to rewire your brain. You're going to learn to think in a new way, starting with your feet. It takes a while, so a lot of practice is the answer. And we're going to get started today. This is the basic pattern of waltzing for your feet, the basic box. But first, let's get warmed up and let's review a little bit what we learned the last times. Starting with your left foot, I will do the lead roll. If you want to do follow, you can just do the opposite foot. So let's just get started. Left foot on counting on the waltz rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just to get warmed up, let's lift your knees up pretty high. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, hi. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and stop right there. Okay, so waltzing. Good posture. Feel your sternum lifting up to the universe. Head tall, but your feet push down to the floor. Try to make your feet parallel. So toes pointed straight forward like you have those long skis on. And your weight is lifted up. Feel your center is pulled in but your sternum is lifted up. Let's do some arm exercise as we move our feet again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Lift your arms up, feet into the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll your shoulders down and back. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and stop right there. Nice. Okay, we're a little revved up, getting that waltz rhythm in our body. Reviewing from last week, we learned about the hoop skirt of a square box that you have as a dancer and you take it with you wherever you go in the room is square around you so you have a big square that you're within in waltzing we also have a small square that our feet are stepping around magically the universe has given me this small square right here that's going to help us so the past lesson we did as the lead we did side to side so let's do a few side to side moves Starting with the left foot to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Now forward and back. I'm just going to step right across my square. This square is for stepping on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. We did the diagonals. Remember the corner of our own box. I'm stepping to the left front, the front left corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six. I can step the left to the back corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome, got that down. Now we're going to work on the box. Starting with the lower left corner of this stepping box here, the left foot going forward, one, right foot to the side on two, 
closing together and change feet on three. I am lifting my foot up just to exaggerate. In real waltzing, you want to keep your feet on the floor, but you definitely change the feet. Now, right foot back on four, left foot to the side on five, close together, and switch your feet on six. So you're just doing one step each count, nice and evenly. Left foot forward on one, right foot to the side on two, close together, and the changing. Now, right foot back on four, left foot to the side on five, close together on six, and switch your feet. One, two, switch. Four, five, switch. One, two, switch your feet, right foot back, four, five, switch. One, two, switch. Four, five, switch. The tricky part where most people get messed up is the switch. And they like step together and then they forget which foot they're on. So, visitor here needs to get in the fridge. All right, so we are working on, so remember it's that switching. It doesn't come easily, but once you do a lot of practicing, it will become automatic for you. You'll just feel that rhythm in your feet. I promise you, but you have to practice it many times. So forward, side, switch, right foot back, side, switch, left foot forward, side, switch, right foot back, side, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and stop right there. Let's do it to some lovely music. So the secret, practicing it about a thousand times. Yes, we are going to now learn a new development in waltzing. Because in waltzing, if you are the lead or the follow, you have your own universe. And your partner is in a mirror universe on the other side. So if I'm with my partner, Jay Gloria will be my lovely partner. I'm doing the lead part, so she'll be the follow. Now she is doing the same thing at me, but just the opposite side. So as I'm, as I'm the lead, I'm going forward on my left. She's going back on her right foot. So we are moving together as one unit. Let me do it to the side so you can see. I'm going forward on my left foot on one. She's going back on her right foot on one. Now we both go to the side and together. Now on four, she's coming forward, I'm going back. I'm going back on my right, she's going forward on her left foot. Both to the side and switch feet together. One, two, three. I'm going back on my right, she's going forward on her left. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Let's do this a few times. Do the music on our wonderful box square.
Now, um, I mentioned there is parallel universes. There's a mirror side. If you got to go through a door to another parallel universe, but everything was just switched left to right, you would be in that alternate mirror universe. In Waltz, we get to do that. There's a door called the change step. It's very simple, and once we go through that door, everything is on the other side. Everything is just flipped left and right. So, what we just done here, regular box step, I had my left foot going forward on count one. One, right foot to the side, two, closing on three, right foot back on four, left foot to the side, closing. Now, if I want to go to the other side, I do three counts. Just the same first half of this box step. One, two, three. Now on count four, I am stepping on my right foot, which is normally what the follow is doing on count one, right? Okay, so if I go forward again and start a new box, new box on count four, now I'm in the opposite mirror universe. On count four, five, six, one, two, three. I just did a new box, but I started on count four with my right foot, which will be very helpful when we learn how to turn. We have not yet learned how to turn. So it's going to be useful, believe me. And this way you're able to go back and forth into either side. So we can do a few boxes now on our right side. I'll just back up here so you can see the same square. So we are in the parallel universe with our right foot on count four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, as the lead, I'm stepping forward on my right foot. The follow is stepping back on her left foot, and we are on count four. The reason I don't switch it over to count one is the music is still going on, whichever universe we're in. The music is like time, it just moves forward. It doesn't, we can flip back and forth, but the music is steady. So we're counting the musical counts, and your steps match. So count four, four, five, six, left foot back on one, two, three, right foot forward on four, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So see how we can do it? Now I know it's not always easy. It's like saying, oh, okay, write a poem with your right hand. Great, now switch to your left hand and try to write it. it. Your brain just doesn't always work the same way. Don't worry, just keep doing it a bunch. I've actually learned to write left-handed just because I was bored at certain times, and it does get easier. It's, I'm never as good as with my right hand, but you can learn. We are rewiring our brains in really great ways, and this is good for our brains. So again, we're in the parallel universe. We started on count four because three counts was the change step. So let's actually start back at the beginning where we were comfortable. Let's do the change step then the parallel universe box. So ready, change step, ready, and one, two, three. This first half of the box, just this usual. Now we're in the parallel universe. We walk through that door. Count four, we're going forward with our right foot. Four, five, six, one, two, three. So we're doing a box, forward and back, but in the parallel universe. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Now, how do we get back to our original universe? A change step. That's the door. Three counts. You can do it the same going forward or back. Actually, it doesn't matter whatever direction you want. Uh, it's just three counts will switch you back to your other foot on count one. So let's do a pattern of two regular boxes in our normal universe. One change step, three counts, 
two boxes in the parallel universe, another change step, and then, uh, and this change step, we'll do it going backwards so that, otherwise we're gonna keep progressing forward and run out of room very quickly. So the first change step is forward. The second change step, it's the second half of that box. We just did it at a later time. So we're gonna do it going backwards. So we'll, we'll come back to the same spot. Two regular boxes, change step, two parallel boxes, change step, and then we'll repeat that. I like this nice slow. One, two, three, basic box. One, two, three, four, five, box. before we do the change step pattern. Up, 
little tricky, but we're going to add the chain step on at this faster rate. And if you don't get the exact box, just stepping in place is okay. The important thing is you're on the other foot. So one step each count. That's the important thing. So let's start now just practicing the parallel box. At the beginning, let's do the chain step right now. One, two, three. Now our parallel box is starting with the right foot on count four, going forward. Four, five, six, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Back on the left. One, two, three. Three. So let's do one chain step and then just the other side. We're doing it faster. Don't panic. It'll be good. One chain step. One, two, three. Here we go. Challenging putting those together. We're going to do two regular basic boxes, one chain step, and two parallel boxes, which is the right foot going forward on count four. I think you can do it. If you mess up, just laugh and keep your feet moving, and it'll be great. And then maybe a year from now, you'll get it right, so then you'll see your progress. That is encouraging. Let's go from the beginning. This faster music. Start doing basic box, change step, parallel box. Um, or outside in your front yard. And I designed this for a small space, so maybe you don't have much space. Maybe you're in Shanghai and you only have a little bit of space in your apartment. You can do this there. Anywhere you go, you can waltz. Now I want to show you a preview of next time. 
It is the basic box. Well, it might take us a couple of times to get to this, but we're going to end up with a turning box that you can pass your feet on and it will look like this. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three. Magazine, the movie critic Stephanie Zacharek last month wrote, We are not the first humans to face hardship and uncertainty. Those who came before us have left all sorts of survival manuals. Among those are movies of Depression era Hollywood that helped our forebears to get through one of our most emotionally debilitating eras. In a time of bread lines and shanty towns, does this sound familiar? Yeah, it's happening again today. When many people were out of work for years at a stretch, ooh, we've only been like three months into this pandemic, and um, people whose wit and style serve as examples of all the things money cannot buy. And they remind us that getting through life always boils down to some version of this mantra let's face the music and dance do you know who said that i believe it was fred astaire and ginger rogers in top hat right there they are dancing you are on your way to be fred and ginger Thank you for joining this lesson, basic box in the waltz foundational step patterns. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us next time.